Hi, I'm John Weeks, and this is the Standard's Tech and Science Daily Podcast. Coming up, record rainfall causes carnage at Dubai Airport. But first, remember Amica? Hey Amica, how are you doing? Hmm, still surviving, barely. How about you? Described as the world's most advanced human-shaped robot, Amica burst onto the scene, featuring on TV talk shows around the world throughout 2022 and 23. Amica's powered by AI and has embedded microphones, cameras, facial recognition software, and articulated motorized components to make real human conversation possible. She was developed by Engineered Arts Limited in Cornwall, who shared clips of their interactions with her on YouTube like this one. Hey Amica, do you dream? Yeah. Last night I dreamt of dinosaurs fighting a space war on Mars against aliens. I'm kidding. I don't dream like humans do, but I can simulate it by running through scenarios in my head which help me learn about the world. Well, now, the robot has been bought by Harriet Watt University's National Robotarium in Edinburgh, which is the UK's Centre for Robotics and Artificial Intelligence. As well as talking, she's capable of making facial expressions, including playful and pondering. Teams at the Robotics Centre are keen to show off what Amica can do, with a core mission to break down barriers and build trust between humans and robots. Scientists in Canada have discovered that hibernating bumblebee queens have a resilience to flooding, surviving up to a week submerged underwater. Tech and Science Daily spoke to Dr. Sabrina Rondo at the University of Guelph in Ontario. Bumblebee is already declining globally. It's about one third of all bumblebee species that are in decline currently. Researchers are very interested in knowing what threats uh, they are facing and what are contributing to these declines. The study, published in the Royal Society's Biology Letters, was set up after test tubes in a fridge housing hibernating bumblebees were found filled with water due to condensation. After draining the water, they found the queens were still alive. I came to check on the bees and those tubes were completely filled with water. I was sure that the queens were dead, but then when I drained the water, I realized that they were still alive, so that was a big surprise. For their new study, hibernation was induced in 143 common eastern bumblebee queens. So we tried three different submersion regimes, so either queens that had no water added to the tubes, we had queens in which we had water, but the queens were floating at the surface. And then we had queens that we completely pushed underwater to maintain them um, for three different durations, so eight hours, 24 hours, and seven days. Survival remained high, suggesting that bees are adapted to survive periods of flooding in the wild, and could mean they're better able to cope with the effects of climate change than initially thought. In Dubai, there's been carnage at the city's airports following the heaviest rainfall in the area for 75 years. The United Arab Emirates has seen over 14 centimeters of rain in a day, about as much as it expects in a year and a half. Footage on social media shows planes landing on flooded runways. And there's also video of passengers wading through water at the flooded on passive metro station in Dubai, such as this one via Specti, recorded by X user Hummer2793. This morning, Wednesday, Dubai International Airport said on X that the flooding had left limited transportation options and recovery will take some time. Now, the Institute for Strategic Dialogue says social media site X was flooded with fake AI-generated images and videos in the hours after Iran's drone and missile attack on Israel on Saturday. The ISD said in just the first seven hours of the drones being launched, 34 false, misleading or AI-generated images and videos claiming to show the ongoing conflict received over 37 million views on the social platform. Of the identified content, 77% came specifically from paid verified accounts, which are amplified via the site's algorithm and could mislead users into thinking they were legitimate. ISD also found that the Iranian government ran repurposed footage of a wildfire in Chile on their state TV, claiming to be showing damage in Israel from the strikes, which were widely circulated on social media. Barclays Bank says people falling victim to investment scams are losing around £14,000 on average. 
The bank said customers aged 21 to 40 account for nearly half of reported investment scams. According to Barclays, a common trick is to encourage people to invest a small amount at the start, with scammers paying out from other victims' money to convince them that the investment is legitimate and in turn leads to larger amounts being lost. Their advice to avoid scams is to pause and reflect before committing to any investments, speak to a qualified financial advisor or family member to get a second opinion, and to check whether the person or organization contacting you is authorized by the Financial Conduct Authority. Coming up, is virtual reality coming to the classroom? Plus, Motorola is bringing back the wooden phone. Welcome back. Nick Clegg, the former Liberal Democrat leader turned President of Global Affairs at Meta, has made a pitch for VR headsets to enter the classroom. In a blog post, he's revealed a new education product for Meta's Quest devices, designed to give teachers access to a range of education-specific apps and features, and allow teachers to control multiple headsets at once. He said there's also growing research showing that learning in VR can improve students' performance, as well as their levels of engagement, attendance, and satisfaction. And finally, Motorola is bringing back the wooden phone, a feature it first introduced a decade ago. Back in 2014, Motorola launched its natural collection of back panels for the Moto X smartphone in bamboo and three different wood finishes. Well, now it's bringing a real wood back panel option to its upcoming Edge 50 Ultra device. So if you've been dreaming of a wooden style phone since 2014, the device also comes with the new Snapdragon 8S Gen 3 chipset and three cameras, a 50 megapixel main lens, a telephoto, and an ultra wide. You're up to date. We're back tomorrow afternoon at one. See you then.